with more and more electric mountain bikes being available, one of the major gripes I've always had is how expensive they are. But Polygon is hoping to make an electric mountain bike that almost anybody can afford with their all new Ziskyu TE. So in this video, we're gonna go over the details, specs, builds, and pricing of the new Ziskyu TE to see if this bike is gonna change the e-mountain bike segment as we know it. So now, let's check out the all new Polygon Ziskyu TE. So the Polygon Ziskyu TE is the newest electric mountain bike in Polygon's lineup. The frame is made of aluminum and it's based around the regular Ziskyu, which is Polygon's trail bike. The TE is built around 150 millimeters of travel in the front and 140 in the rear, and it comes with 29 inch wheels. But the bike does have the ability to run a mullet setup. All you have to do is install a 27 half inch rear wheel and adjust the flip chip. The motor is provided by Shimano and it's an EP600 in the lower end model and the EP800 in the upper end model. Both motors provide 85 newton meters of torque and assistance up to 20 miles per hour. And there's four power modes, Eco, Trail, Boost, and Walk Assist. There's also an E2 project app, which lets you customize the assistance of each mode to your personal preferences. And there's two battery options, both of which are integrated into the down tube and removable. There's a 504 watt battery in the lower end model and a 630 watt battery in the upper end model. An extra battery can be purchased, but at the time of recording, no price or date of availability has been released. And Polygon hasn't announced any information on the range, especially since there's so many variables, including gradients, terrain, rider weight, assistance mode, rider input, and temperature. But based on the battery sizes, and comparing it to other e-mountain bikes with similar battery motor setups, I feel that 25 to 40 miles should be a pretty attainable figure. The Ziskyu TE frame and geometry fall right into the trail bike category with a 65 degree head tube angle, 4 and 45 millimeter chain stays, and a 77 degree seat tube angle. Like many of Polygon's bikes, the frame has a five year factory warranty and the parts have the full manufacturer's warranty. For the Ziskyu TE, there's two available builds. The first and most affordable build we're gonna look at is the T6E. It comes with the SR Suntour Zeron 35 LOR fork and a SR Suntour Edge Plus RC shock. It has a Shimano Dior M5120 10 speed drivetrain with a 46 tooth cassette and the brakes are SRAM Code R's with 203mm rotors in the front and the rear. The motor is a Shimano EP600 with a 504 watt hour battery. The wheels are Entity XL3s with Schwalbe Hans Dampf tires in both the front and in the rear, and they both come with a 2.6 inch width. It comes with a Trans X dropper post, and all touch points are entity branded. The T6E is available in sizes small through extra large, and retails for a shockingly low $3,599. And the last and most expensive build is the T7E, which comes with the SR Suntour Ion 35 RC PCS fork and an SR Suntour Tri Air 2 3 CR shock. It has a Shimano SLX 12 speed drivetrain with the 51 tooth cassette. The brakes are SRAM code R's with 203mm rotors in the front and in the rear. The motor is a Shimano EP800 with a 630 watt hour battery. The wheels are Entity XL3s with Schwalbe Hans Dampf tires both in the front and rear with a 2.6 inch width. It comes with a Trans X dropper post and all touch points are Entity branded. The T7E is available in sizes small through extra large and retails for $4,199. So I'm blown away by this bike. Not necessarily because it has the best geometry or build, but the Polygon was able to make a competent e-mountain bike for such an affordable price. But one of the biggest complaints I've always had about e-bikes is that they're so expensive that only a small percentage of people can actually afford them. But Polygon is completely changing the game with the Ziskyu TE. And I think bikes like this are really important for a couple reasons. First, they make entry into the segment affordable for the everyday mountain biker. But second, and most importantly, this bike creates competition in the e-mountain bike segment, and it forces other bike companies to find ways to make their e-bikes more affordable without sacrificing quality. But this is just my opinion. What really matters is, what are your thoughts on this bike? Do you plan on buying one? Is there any other electric mountain bikes that have this type of value? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great one.